Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to set up and use the stock screener on the Weeble app to find the best stocks for you. We're first going to jump into the Weeble app on my iPhone and I'll walk you through the process for finding specific stocks. Then I'll create an example stock screener that you know you yourself may end up wanting to use to find stocks to invest in. Weeble is currently offering new users between six to 12 free shares of stock for depositing as little as one cent into their new account. This is worth a minimum guaranteed value of $34 up to a potential $30,600. So if you haven't yet opened a Weeble account, I've left a link in the description and comment section below, which will take you directly to the signup page. Jumping into the Weeble app, the first thing that you wanna do is head to any tab with the search icon in the top right corner. And from here, you can search for any security available on Weeble if you have one in mind. Now, right below the search bar, you'll see another menu here with options like crypto, screeners, top gainers, calendar, and WeFold. So let's go ahead and click on screeners. When you first access this tab, you'll see two preset screeners here, one for high dividend yield bank stocks and another for high market value US stocks. If we click on either of those, we can see a list of different stocks according to the preset filters. But if you're like me, you probably want to set up your own customizable screener to find stocks that interest you. We can easily do that by clicking create new screener and we have a ton of different options to choose from. Whether you are a long-term investor looking for value stocks to invest in where things like company financials are really important to you or maybe you're a swing or day trader where company financials are less important to you but indicators like percent change in extended hours or volume is a lot more important Weeble has you covered with a ton of different options to choose from. So let's set up our own customized screener. I'm gonna filter for stock based on three qualities. First, it needs to have a mid to large market cap. So I'm gonna say anything greater than $10 billion. Second, it needs to have a total earnings per share over the past 12 months of $12 or more. And third, it needs to offer an annual dividend yield of 3% or greater. Under quotes indicator, we can see the market cap option. So I'm going to select that. And I don't see a greater than $10 billion option that isn't capped at a maximum of like 100 billion. So I'm gonna hit custom. I'm going to clear the maximum side and then enter 10 on the minimum side and click done. At this point, if we wanted to just filter based on this, we could see a total of 877 stocks that fit this criteria. Now that we have our first parameter dialed in, let's look for the annual dividend yield option. So under financial indicator, you'll see dividend yield. I'll click that and I don't see anything fitting my specific criteria. So I'm gonna hit custom, change the percent to 3% for the minimum and clear the maximum done and as you can see with our market cap and annual dividend yield we can view a total result of 211 stocks lastly let's get earnings per share dialed in so i'm going to click eps i don't see greater than 12 here so we're going to hit custom again clear the max side enter 12 on the minimum and one thing to be aware of here is this is the total earnings per share over the last four quarters so we're looking at an average quarterly EPS of $3. Clicking done, we can see that our search has narrowed massively from thousands of stocks to just 37. We can save this as a custom screener to come back to in the future, or we can just view the list of stocks now. I'm gonna hit save, say high dividend stocks, save. And we can now easily see this on the front page of the screener tab by clicking that. We can see that full list and dive deeper into each one of these stocks. But let's say we want to narrow our list of stocks down even more, say for a specific sector. So what we can do is click on that custom setup screener, click modify in the top right corner, go to sector. And let's say we want to just look at high dividend yield stocks within the energy sector. So I'm going to click energy, done, confirm. And as you can see, our list of 37 stocks has narrowed again to just five. And bam, just like that, you set up a custom stock screener, making your stock search a lot easier. Now, this is just a small example of setting up a custom screener. There's so many different options for filtering stock, including 
price to earnings, analyst ratings, and a ton of different technical indicators. There are also some really helpful features other than creating a custom screener that can help you look for specific stocks. So let's jump into that right now. Heading to the search bar, let's check out top gainers. Here we can view a list of stocks that have seen a percentage gain over specific time frame. So for example, during after hours, DMS stock has seen a 63% increase in share price. But let's take a look at the one month. So as we can see, there are a few stocks here that have seen almost a 300% increase in share price over the last month. Uh, some quite a few here in the 100% range and still some pretty impressive gains. And you might be thinking, wow, that's that's an insane increase an almost 300% share price increase over the last month. That's got to be a great stock to invest in. Well, hold on. There's a major problem with that line of thinking. First of all, what is the stock trading at price wise? Is this a tiny penny stock that just got some good news and saw a 300% increase, but not a huge increase in actual share price. And second, we need to see how this stock has performed over a longer period of time. Yeah, an almost 300% increase in a one month period is, is a great increase. However, how has it performed over a one year, a five year time frame? So let's check out CBIO stock. Clicking here, we can see that it's actually trading under $2. So share price wise, it's not a large stock. Um, let's move out here to five years. So this stock really has been on a, a long term downtrend uh, that almost 300% increase in share price experience over the last month really is not that impressive when you take a broader look at this stock. Moral of the story though, don't be fooled by a massive one month or three month percentage gain on a stock. There's always more to the story. So it's important that you actually dive deeper into what's going on with that stock and not simply buying just because, wow, that's a that's a big gain. I wanna show you one more feature though before we wrap up, and that's a calendar feature. This can assist in finding stocks to invest in because it shows you everything from upcoming earning dates, uh, ex-dividend and payout dates, and stock split news, which are all very important when deciding on and when to buy stock. You really won't want to forget to take advantage of those 6 to 12 free shares of stock if you haven't yet opened a new Weeble brokerage account. Again, I've left a link in the description and comment section below if you're interested. But now that you know how to set up a completely customizable stock screener to filter for stock based on your own preferences, You'll want to check out this video here, which explains exactly how to get started trading stock on the Weeble platform quickly and easily.